Hello and uh, welcome back to another lesson. This will be lesson number 11. We're going to work on a pipe network. As you know, pipe could be uh, anything. could be like a sewer pipe, drainage pipe, or sanitary, or it could be pressure pipe, conduit, all kind of them. Uh, let's go ahead and download this uh, um, file and you can go ahead and follow along. If you've been following, from, uh, uh, following me, from a lesson one you should have this already but if not but it's a just go ahead the link is down below and go ahead download it I'm gonna go ahead uh, create a pipe network by using object so go to your home tab and from a home tab come all the way to where you see it says pipe network click on the drop down arrow and then go to the one that says create pipe network from once you do that you can come down here it says create a select object or xrfe let's click on xrfe here that's the command and then now we're going to go ahead it says uh, select object so now we go ahead and zoom in right here we want to look at this right here let's go ahead and put a pipe right here and this where it lines up right there i'm going to click on that line right here i'm going to put a pipe right there okay and then now you see that when we did that uh, look at the arrow they have this arrow going there, so the feed is going this way and we don't want this we want to go ahead and, and just reverse this so the feed goes the other way and right here click reverse and now you can see our feed the pipe the drainage come from here and then goes into the main drainage, goes out to the street, and eventually outlet someplace else. And let's click OK. Once you click OK, this new window will open up. Right here, it says network name. Let's type it as drainage or storm drainage. Let's say drainage. And then you're going to come down to the next one right here. And it says network park list. Click right here and go to uh, um, storm sewer. All right. And the pipe to create, let's select 12 inch PVC. This is just concrete. I'm going to hit the drop down menu and come all the way down here where it says PVC pipe. Hit the plus sign and then select the 12 inch pipe. Then you have a structure. You got to pick a, a structure that the uh, uh, pipe comes into it. So let's pick up a cylindrical structure, and you can see there's a lot of them. Cylindrical structure uh, uh, slab with a top circular frame. This we can find that. Uh, that's a top rectangular. Uh, right here, Stru cylindrical structure slab top circular frame. Select that one. Okay, and then when you hit that, and you can see the uh, select that one. Then you have the uh, um, surface name. We're going to be on a flesh ground. So select FG. Alignment name, and let's go to uh, uh, this is the road we're using, which is the Ascent Road right there. So let's go to the alignment, see if you can find them. Right there, S and PI. Okay. And then leave there 7B the way it is, click OK. And there's our pipe right here, that blue line. Okay, so now we have created this. Let's save your drawing, and then we're going to continue to the next. Okay, now I want to go ahead and lay out our pipe using the layout. Come back in here, the pipe that we just did, click on that. Once you click on that, your ribbon going to change. From here, hit the one right here that says Edit Pipe Network. Click on that. And then you're going to have a model space open up. But before we do that, let's change the alignment. If you come up all the way to the left corner right here, you see this strand right here has the alignment sign on it. Click on that. When new window opens up, you have a list of alignment. Let's change that alignment to uh, uh, Jefferson Ranch Road. And click OK. All right, now I want to go ahead and change the pipe right here. I want to go ahead and make it 68 by 6 by 57. And then uh, if you have uh, change your pipe to 12 inch PVC pipe. 
and then you're going to come back in here right here you want to have your switch right now it's down if you look at your uh, direction of pipe toggle is up down downstream you want to make that go the other way so click that make it up right there now we're going to come in here click draw pipe and structure click on that and you can see right here it says uh, down bottom specify the structure and section point and up down here come in right next to the intersection if you come to the right a little bit you see this poly line right here see if you can find this poly line all right click on the first point right there and then click on the second point <clears throat> right there and hit enter and there is the pipe we have we just put in here while we're here okay now I like to put a pipe right to this manhole right here to uh, uh, station 1020 over here so let's remain in here and let's change the um, uh, structure make it to uh, cylindrical structure slab top circular if you hit the plus sign right next to it then select the slab top cylindrical structure select that one and come back let's go to 18 inch diameter PVC so we're going to make that to 18 inch and everything good is good let's hit draw and uh, click on that and you can see right here it says specify the structure and section point we can pick this point and the other point but let's do something different while we're here uh, from your home tab go to transparent tab right there and from transparent tab select this one that says station offset click on station okay when you do that you come down here it says select alignment we want to go and be on a center line right here if you cannot find the alignment just click on the center line let me bring this over here a little bit there we go uh, I'm gonna click on the center line and then when you do that it says you can see the station and let's type in the station the station we're going to go in is going to be in 10 20 so it's going to be it's the 10 plus 20 but we're going to type in 10 20 10 20 and you can see down bottom right here down bottom of my screen says 10 20 now hit enter and ask for zero uh, offset hit zero offset enter and now we right here let's hit escape to get out of this transparent command okay and now you can see see my pipe and I'm connected right here and I can see where the pipe is going to go there's a couple of ways if this alignment is curved you can come down here select curve and then go ahead and select it there and if you don't mind the curve is not bad you can just go ahead select here and make the end point so click the end point hit enter and we're good and there's our pipe okay let's go ahead and see this pipe in a profile view um, let's go ahead and select the pipe itself one way we can do that we're just going to go ahead and draw a window around it and or just select them manually once you have uh, selected this up here in the ribbon let's go to uh, draw part in profile click on that and then once you did remember in the previous lesson I don't know, one two three four five which lesson it was we created a profile and the profile was to the right of the uh, side plan itself so you want to go to the profile for the uh, this road which is Jefferson Road this one is not the one okay that's a uh, this is the one right here Essen Road okay Jefferson this one so go ahead select the profile right here click on it once once the lights up click on it okay that's where we want to go ahead and select the pipe and um, as we can see let's hit escape get out of here because we have only selected certain part of the whole network only those three run a three section of pipe so we have to go modify this and uh, let's go ahead and select this again the profile 
and come up here go to the uh, profile property and in here um, let's look at the pipe network and we're gonna select uh, number uh, pipe number five number six number seven and then we're gonna make sure we structure number four yeah and structure number seven and eight and nine are selected which i done previously okay and click apply click okay so let's look at it we might have some error here but we can fix those later on uh, we can see the pipes are right here and those are the certain pipe that we selected okay let's go ahead and use the uh, modify tab or we use the uh, edit remember this pipe we made before let me just highlight it right there okay and say we want to make a changes to this pipe right here and uh, once you highlight it come up here and a ribbon and uh, let me f f yeah, swap part click swap part say we want to change this end section to something else so now we click the swap part and let's go ahead and change the whole pipe to like uh, uh, it was selected 12 inch let's make it uh, 18 inch okay and click OK and now that became an 18 inch pipe you may get a warning and but ignore it if you do Now let's go ahead and uh, select the structure itself. Let me right here. Select the structure right there. Okay. And uh, up here, let's structural property. Let's click on structural property. From a part property, come down here. We have a style head wall. Let's change this head wall to a uh, uh, flare end section okay flare and section right there and click OK apply OK and there's the flare and section I don't know if you can see it let me change the property so we can see it but I wonder if we can change the background color we'll come better hold on if I go to here click option and then color let's make it white apply and close okay oh yeah see it better so now we uh, change the flare section here so now let's select this right here and you can see right here we have a square grip right here and, we're, and a circle if you grab that set square you can uh, move this wherever you want it See that? A grip section, you can do that. Or we can rotate it. You want to say rotate uh, outlet this way. So you can outlet it that way. There. So this grip moves it, and this one's going to go ahead and rotate it around. Okay, now come back uh, to this end and select the head wall right here and the ribbon change again come up here hit the edit pipe and once you hit edit pipe come back to this uh, panel here from the panel right there you click on uh, delete pipe okay now you're in delete command and asking you what do you want to delete so I want to delete this head wall right here so go back click the head wall again one more time and there it is gone and hit escape to get out of the delete command now what I want to do I want to connect this pipe either to this manhole or to this one okay so come up and uh, let's select the pipe and see this grip again hit the grip and how over the pipe right here until you see a connection let me make this bigger right there we see the square they line up once you no line them up click it there it is and <clears throat> let's and we connected the pipe this way. That's one way to do this work.